Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. This is day 10 of 30 Blue Inks, 30 Days. And today I am very excited to say that I have gotten the new uh, Twisby Diamond 580 in Prussian Blue. Now, I heard that it was going like hotcakes and I rushed over to my local pen shop, the Norfolk Stationery in Norfolk, Virginia, the best little pen shop in the world, and they had two left. They had a fine and a broad. I don't know how I feel about broad, so I got the fine. I was hoping for a medium, but fine is good. So I was looking at the pen and somebody had written on the little price tag turquoise. And I thought, hmm, is that a Prussian blue pen or is that a turquoise pen? <laughs> so the, the clerk that was helping me, he scanned it and he said, yes, that's the Prussian blue pen. But it looks much greener to me than the pictures I have seen online. But I've also heard some people say that they didn't quite think the pen looked the way that it did online. So, again, here is this color. It's teal. Is it blue? Is it green? It depends on your eyes. It depends on the lighting. It depends on many things. So, to me, this pen is looking pretty green, but that's okay. I still think it's beautiful, and I don't regret purchasing it. Um, plus, the pen shop gives nice discounts. It's a great place to shop. I highly recommend it if you ever get the chance to shop there. Love the Norfolk Stationery. And no, they're not paying me to say that. <laughs> I just love that shop so much. And I'm so glad they're open again so I can go shopping again. Um, but anyway, as soon as I saw that this pen was coming out, I knew that I wanted to get it, and I knew that I wanted to put this ink in it. This is one of the new inks that I purchased from Pure Pens in Wales. This is part of their Celtic series, and this is Celtic Sea. And it is a beautiful teal ink. I don't know if you can really see that through the bottle, but it does have a little smear on the label, and it has a little smear on the lid. And it's, it's a beautiful ink, and the pictures of it on their website it just made me fall in love with it instantly, and I knew I had to have it. And I didn't go for the sample, I went for the full bottle, just like I did with Saltire, because I knew I would love it. So once I got this ink, and once I saw this pen, I knew they had to go together. So I rushed home, I rinsed out the pen, which I never do, and I filled it up with Celtic Sea. So here we go. Let's make our swatch card. Alright, and now to swatch. And our little drip. Now this is one of those inks that doesn't seem to be dripping at all. And it feels a little bit dry on the paper to me. It doesn't feel like it's flowing. So I'm just going to re-dip and see if I can get a drip out of it. Yep, a little bit. Okay, we got a little bit of a run there. But yeah, some inks just don't want to run on this paper. So, oops. So I never know if that means that the ink is dry or it just doesn't like the watercolor paper. But let me set him up to help this drip a little bit. And we're going to do our writing sample on the Claire Fontaine paper. I keep forgetting to do my little smear. Ooh, that is lovely. All right. So that is definitely a deep, dark, gorgeous teal. I love it. 
All right, let's look at some cards. Okay, so our little sample here is still drying. I'll try to be careful and not smear it. I've already, <laughs> I've already smeared the ink in my notebook, but you know, what's a fountain pen lover without some inky fingers, right? All right. So as I've mentioned before, um, teals, blue greens are very subjective. So let's see what I have that we think might match this ink. And I forgot that um, I kept my sample swatch cards separate from my bottle swatch cards. So I've been pulling out cards for these videos and I forgot to look at some of my sample cards. So some of these we kind of missed out on a little bit. Now actually that one doesn't look too far off. This one, this one's a little bit bluer and he's got some nice red sheen, but I have a feeling some red sheen is going to come out on this one too once it starts to dry. Now here is Vinta inks, and I'm going to try to pronounce this, Dugong Bagong, and this is a gorgeous color. I had this in my Cross Calais, and it was so beautiful. So this, this is a sample that I'm trying out, but this is one that I think I'm going to need to get a bottle of because it is just so beautiful, but definitely very far away from our ink of today. So I'm going to set him aside. And here's another sample I've been trying, KWZ Standard Azure number 5. And mm, he's a bit darker. Here is Waterman Mysterious Blue. Now Mysterious Blue, it's kind of a teal or kind of a blue-black. And again, after looking at those multi-shading inks, the Sailor Ink Studio and the Troublemaker inks, I'm seeing different colors in all of the inks, but I swear there are some different colors <laughs> in this one. If you have a bottle of Waterman Mysterious Blue, try swatching it again and see if you see any different things going on in there. I'm I'm seeing some green. I'm seeing some purple. My eyes are playing tricks on me, but yes, again, he's very different from our ink today. Here's Diatrementis Indigo Blue. Much darker. Here is Private Reserve Naples Blue. Now this is kind of the same tone, but it's it's just darker, but not too far off. And here we have Organic Studio Nitrogen. I think Private Reserve Naples Blue and Organic Studio Nitrogen are pretty close to each other, but in this case, I think the Naples Blue is a bit closer to Celtic Sea than Nitrogen is. So, let's see, I'm going to put him right there. This, I need to redo this card. That smear right there just looks goofy. <laughs> I was trying to get the, the sheen to show off because it's supposed to be such a, a, a big sheener. And I just put a big blob on there and it looks bizarre. <laughs> All right, here's Diamine Asa Blue. Now he's looking pretty close. Hmm, let me see. And here is Noodler's Ottoman Azure. And that seems to be a little, I don't know, a little grayer maybe. Not quite as blue. Not too far off. But not quite the same. And since this was a teal ink, I wasn't sure which direction it was going to go in. So I pulled out some teals that were a bit greener. This is Pilot Oroshizuku Kujaku. But he is definitely green compared to our ink of the day. And here's Diamine Alexandrite. This was another ink that I included in my Pure Pens order. And I haven't used it yet, but I'm very excited to try it out. So we'll be, we'll be inking this one up soon. Um, but again, he's a bit greener. So we'll put him aside. So I, I think we're looking at these four. So what do you think? Who do you think is the closest? I think these are pretty close to each other. The Blue Guitar and the Ace of Blue. I just love Troublemaker inks, and the trouble is they're so hard to get, <laughs> but they're so pretty. I hope Troublemaker starts putting out inks again very soon. So these are similar, but I think this one is just a bit lighter. So I think this one might be a, a fairly unique ink in my collection. Of course, I have some very similar colors, but I don't think I have one to, to match that one. So I'm really going to enjoy using this. And again, if you haven't checked out Pure Pens 
and checked out their in-house inks, definitely give them a look. They have all different colors. Of course, I'm a big fan of the blues, and those are the ones that I have focused on, but they have lots of beautiful inks. So be sure to check out their website and um, place an order across the pond if you're in America like me. All right, well, that is our ink for today. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I always love looking at those swatch cards. And here is our pen and ink together. Whoop, there's our pen. Is that going to stay there? Probably not. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're having fun with your pens and inks today. And hopefully I will see you again tomorrow. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And please consider subscribing. Take care. Bye-bye.